All right, guys, it's me, David Rocha, um, doing another video for another painting for, well, story, my story of the Selena painting, you know, and I, I, I like the idea. I liked how um, I saw another artist do this as when they did a painting, they kind of did a story about the painting or, or whatnot, and it helps. I think it helps the person that sees the art, that sees the work, kind of understand why the artist uh, painted what they painted. So Selena is, um, everybody knows, she had passed away years ago, um, unfortunately, and she died very young, was killed very young actually, but she was a, a huge singer and an inspiration, especially for a lot of uh, Latina women. Uh, I have uh, daughters and my older, especially my oldest daughter, um, really looked up and was inspired uh, by Selena. So one time uh, my wife and I, we were hanging out with Gavino at the Galleria, which is the gallery uh, where, that does all, all the framing for us. And um, he was about to have a car show. Well, not him, but the street, the block where he's at. And he asked me if uh, I could do a Selena painting for a display on the front window. You know, and uh, I never thought of doing that, you know, I never thought of it or nothing. And so I told him, you know what, uh, I'm going to do that. So my wife went through Google and looking for different pictures, trying to find um, what would represent her the best. And there were so many great photos, different photos of her on stage and, you know, uh, different shows and concerts and whatnot. And uh, the one we settled with was an amazing photo that was taken at her last concert before her death. And uh, so that's what I did, and I painted it um, in canvas with acrylic on a, this is a 30, 24 by 36 is the original. I have the original here, but I recently made it into a G clay also, but I'm going to share with you the original first. It's kind of big, so I'm going to push this camera back a little bit. Here it is. I can't even get the whole thing in here, but let me do this. So this is the original, which is going to be on the website. Obviously, there's a. It's hard to tell, but on her dress, on her clothes, not her dress, on her clothes, there's a like glitter sparkles because her original dress was blinged out. You know, so, um, yeah, that's the original, guys. And um, so now I'm going to share with you the G Clay. And uh, it came out so good. So here's the G Clay of it. And this is what's really cool. I, I only have two of these frames, okay? So it's going to be on the website. It's going to say... Um, like a black with red frame but yeah i have copies of this but there's only two of these but look at this if you get close there's matching it matches her clothes the, the edges of the frame see that any person that purchases the g clay that way i, I hand sign it so yeah that's uh that painting and um, it was it was it was really fun doing it, and even during the painting, it, it, it you know my wife and I sat and watched the movie again. You know, many of us have seen that movie multiple multiple times. Uh, that James uh, uh, Edward James almost uh, acted in, and Jennifer Lopez. So you know, in the middle of painting it, we're watching the movie, which inspired me even more. You know, to just try to get the best try to get her character the best I possibly could on canvas, you know? So, all right, guys, I just wanted to share that painting with you. Um, the original is going to be on the website. Uh, obviously, there's only one. And also the G. Clays. Uh, the red border will be there. There's only two. I only made two of these at the red border, but this G. Clay is available. And um, But that's it. All right, guys, thank you.